Welcome everyone to another video of Phantom Forces. Now I was thinking of doing it on Twitch, but I'm not really. Sure, but Twitch has been wonky right now, so I decided let's do it on YouTube. Let's do it on YouTube till a certain period of time. All right. No, you should not kill me. Yeah. The best part. Right. For this video. Oh. This video I'm going to talk about the M16A3. Now, well, only in this game. Alright, nothing else that's really, like, really in real life. Now, on this game, the best... Okay, that was terrible. The M16, I think this is the A3. No, it's the A4. Give me that Marzen. I can't even speak today. <laughs> I'm not prepared. Alright. The M16A4 is a, a really good weapon once you get the hang of it. Many people think that, oh, it's such a trash weapon. Oh, you should not be able to use this. I'm going to use this AK-47. You're sort of right, but have it's wrong. It's wrong. The a this weapon is, more, is really unique and very useful as long as you don't suck with it. Nice hint. <laughs> now, the best sights, the best attachments for this weapon, weapon to choose, choose from would be the M1 M1 45 for the optics, muzzle brake or compensator for the barrel. Vertical foregrip for the underbarrel and a red the red laser for the uh, the other. <clears throat> now what you don't want to use is just is the ACOG. Even though it's a good one to use, use for like I don't know sniping, don't use it. It's really bad. Same with the VCOG. Even though it gives you tremendous accuracy and hip side accuracy. Hip accuracy, the sight changes. It is bad. Alright. The A3 is basically the same thing, but it switches from auto auto to semi. This one is burst and it ki it can grant you a lot of kills if you kn you can coordinate coordinate where they're gonna go. Plus for the sections. Oh. See? It's as good as that. If you know know this weapon at, at the back of your hand, you can be able to dominate the battlefield. <clears throat> For with the all right, this time I am, I am unprepared as hell. All right, the different firing modes. What you're gonna do is that if you're in close quarters to medium range, use your burst. Burst tech burst to uh, select fire. If you're you're trying to re try to be like a marksman, then you use the uh, single single shot shot round. So that you can be able to get a long range without having to waste any ammo. I'm so quiet. <laughs> now, the best sidearm for for this will be any semi-auto revolvers. Is alright for like range, if like the range ones, but for like the meme, for like really good, good and legit players to try and get like ranked up, I suggest you go with the type type of uh, attachments that. Attachments that I have. If not, you might have you might be dying multiple times, and you might you might have to learn. You might have to learn from your mistakes and put on 
some attachments to help. When they fr all right, now I'm going to talk about about the first appearance with the weapon. People might say, "Oh, the sight sight is trash because it had because the same one as the M M4 A1 and the M4." Well, one they're basically the same same weapon. Only downside: the M16A4 has less damage than the M4 M4 counterpart. Well, the M16A3 is more damaged than the M4A1 counterpart. Therefore, it has a signif significant change with ha how deadly it is and how excruciated it, it is compared to the enemy forces. Now, in the, now, soon. In the next video, I will talk about talk about uh, what which ones are the be best weapons for certain maps. Now, what you're going to do is that with the sidearm, whatever one you cho chose, it's best that if you run out, run out in the first weapon, you can get all Mac. You can just switch to it. This is the M16A3. A See, if you want to try try kill someone without having to lose lose a lot of ammo, then go with a semi-auto auto. See, if you spam your weapon, you will lose ammo completely. So I can soon as I can hit, I can hit. No, you don't get to kill me. <laughs> now, with the first slip fire, it is most effective when close quarters, because you can be able to deal a lot of damage without. You can deal a lot. Uh, you can do a ton of damage while trying to get get your kill. However, if they're long, if they're like far away from you, I suggest not going with the burst, as it can lead lead to your ammo depletion faster. Know what you're thinking? No, I do not suck. It's people buying stuff that they're not even. I can't assist from that. Give me that. <laughs> Also, also, if you use the uh, if you use the uh, the hollow point for the weapon, it it becomes like one one of the most OP weapons to use, as you could be able to like get a bunch of kills and damage plus more more uh, ex exp points for for your main level, and bot and more kills, so you could be able to get more more like unlocks. Well, that's it for this video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Please leave a like, like, and comment down below of what you want to see, of what video you want to see, see me ne next with the uh, with this. And as always, I hope you all enjoy.